welcome to our channel. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Hugo. We are Sell Quick, Ship Quick, part-time resellers. Full-time hustlers. And if you like thrift hauls. And I hope you do. Give us a thumbs up. And you should also subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the bell for notifications. Yeah, um, we do a little bit of everything. We thrift used clothes, uh, vintage, modern, and uh, sometimes we come across some pretty cool new with tags. So to start our haul, I have my new Disney sweater and I think it is um, a good sweater for today. Well, right now as we film, it's National International Women's Day. Yeah, if you don't know what date that is, that's March 8th. The day before Hugo's birthday. So when this video comes out on March 9, he will be a year older. One more year. Even though I act... In his thrifted shirt. In my thrifted clown shirt. Oh, I act like a clown. Alright, so we went to one store on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, to kick off his birthday weekend, we went to two stores and got pizza um and uh udon and udon but uh, the thrift gods were definitely on our side yeah. for these three stores and we found a ton of stuff um a ton of sale items plus we had donation coupons that are now valid every day um when they used to only be valid on wednesdays, wednesdays. so Let's get started. Yeah. Um, first section. So we actually have to cut this video into two parts because we got so many items. We have a full rack. Um, so this first half, this is gonna be our bread and butter haul. Uh, that means that it's our items that sell anywhere from 20 to $40. 40. And then our part two will be our 40 and up, plus anything that was new with tags that we found, um, which was quite a few items. Yeah, including um, a pretty cool hard good that we'll make sure to share and we'll, we'll have fun with. <laughs> yes. All right, so starting off, we have Soul Cycle, and Soul Cycle is, if you don't know, it's an exercise fitness class um, for cycling. It's in the name. Um, but their like out their clothes tend to sell kind of quickly for us. Um, so someone dropped off all their Soul Cycle stuff. So we have three here. I picked them up because this is going to be one listing, multi quantity, just different sizes for eBay, um, and then multi quantity on Poshmark. So we have, I believe it's two extra small and a medium. So here we go. It's like a tropical Hawaiian print. Um, I couldn't find exact comps. So we are going estimating the comps. Um, so this is between 20 to 30. And then next up we have a Patagonia halter dress. It's about knee length. Um, and it does have an open back with this tie back strap. Um, this one is a size medium and we actually have one that's got multiple watchers on eBay. So we picked this up when we saw it and we're just gonna double the quantity. Yeah, multi quantity. Uh, and then here we have an Amor Vert. Let me show you guys the tag here. And there you go. And uh, this is just a nice red, would this be long sleeve? No. No, this is like a three quarter sleeve, but it does have this little like slit detail at the cuff. Um, and a more vert, there's that tag that you saw. And then this one is another more vert, but it's a different tag. This is the first time I've seen this tag, but this one is an extra small and this is a dress. So a more vert for us, sells almost immediately from the time that we list it. Um, and then the sell-through rate on this one, according to the Completely app, is at 60-ish percent sell-through. All right, so next up we have Calypso St. Bart, which is another one that we really like selling. Uh, this one... Cold shoulder? 
No, it's like a dolman sleeve because there's no. Oh, other... that's the sleeve, huh? Yeah, it's not a shoulder. <laughs> I thought that was. So it's like a tunicky top, um, but this one is a size small. And for the most part, when we pick up Calypso, we normally just see mm, the cashmere. All right, so if you've seen any of our other hauls, we do really like picking up Logo by Lori Goldstein. This brand um, is sold on QVC. Um, and we actually, I think, found our first few pieces when we went to Arizona. Yeah, I think so. Um, so ever since we picked them up a few months ago, if we see Logo, we'll pick it up because they sell really quickly. Um, bread and butter, so it's not a high ticket item, but the sell through rate is good on it and we normally find it for a very good price. So we have this long sleeve top and it's got this like fun sheer pocket in the front. And then on the back, it's got this button down detail going down the middle. And then we have this uh, sleeveless, would this be tunic or just? Yeah, like a tunic top mm -hmm. with, with like a layered bottom. Yep. Excellent. And these are all larges with the exception of the very last piece. This sleeveless, just like that one she just had up, just different color scheme. And another one because like we said, oh, this one. This one has pockets. Okay, these look weird. I was like, what is the pockets that? pockets go in. <laughs> So that's the outside part. <laughs> and then this is like a cardigan. Mm -hmm. So it's an open front cardigan. This one's an extra large and it does have this like tiered ruffle detail at the bottom on the sides. And then we also found another Patagonia dress, except this one has flowers on it. Similar, the material is very similar to that last one, but the back has this like X back to it. Um, it doesn't have any pads in it, but it does come with like the sports bra inside. Like built in? Yeah. All right, so this needs a good steam. It's already been washed, but <laughs> this needs to get ironed. Um, this one is Armenda Gildo Zegna. Um, the first time we found this was a cashmere sweater or wool sweater that sold for a lot. So now that we find it, we normally pick it up. Um, so this is just a simple button front shirt. This is a men's shirt because the pockets, or not the pocket, the buttons. Uh, yeah, the button space. Buttons are on the right side. So if you can put your hand through the hole, it is a men's shirt. And then here, uh, you believe, I believe this is vintage, right? Mm hmm. Nice vintage piece, and this is the Lands. Let me get a tag for you there. Lands Originals. Uh, this one made in the USA. It is a size four. Um, we've sold this dress in the past, or not this dress, this brand. We've sold this brand in the past. Um, it does have one tiny flaw in the back, but I can Just stitch that back. Or, yeah. I'm going to stitch that back up. Uh, and then here we have a John Barbados USA button up men's shirt. Uh, just really nice pattern, simple, bread and butter. And then here's the tag, if you haven't. Go. There you go. All right, here we have a Vince, which we really like picking up. So this is just a Vince cotton crew neck pullover sweater for men. This is a size large. Uh, and it does have like the elbow patch, patch stitching. Because it's not really a patch. No. But it has the stitching for what would be an elbow patch. Yeah, because it's not actually reinforced. It's just for design. Uh, and then here we have a Sundance knit, would this be turtleneck? Mm -hmm. Sweater? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so this one is actually a cotton silk blend in a size small. Um, and then you can see the tag here if you've ever picked up Sundance. There you go. 
all right so torrid um torrid has been selling really well for us it, this past week we've made a few sales on torrid and if you are cross posting onto mercari torrid is where they are selling um, we do offer free shipping but we will get offers and we'll negotiate because we offer free shipping our buyers usually take our counter offer because shipping is included yeah and most of the time our counter offer is just a few dollars off so you can always price a little bit higher knowing that someone will counter and then you can Maybe counter sure. that one um, but this one is an open front draped cardigan in a size two um yeah. and it's kind of long like tunic -y length you got some pants all right so here we have intimately free people um this one is a size small they're just a pull-up pant um but it does have this like embroidered side or i forget what this is called there's a term for this when it's like squished oh not ruched but yeah where it's it comes together so on purpose for design okay if we can find it we'll put it in the font um but these are like jogger pants uh yeah they're just really fun and cute and here we have Athleta leggings with zipper pockets, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, nice design. This isn't sheer on the side, is it? No. So it's a hair, like a herringbone pattern, um, where the gray part is. There you go. And it is a medium. So I found exact comps for this. Um, someone took a best offer at like. This actually was taken at like thirty dollars. Uh, or listed at 30 with the best offer, so I'm hoping to put this at a high 20, low $30 range. All right, next up we have this really fun, shiny material. This is from Victoria's Secret, which we really like selling. Also on, po on uh, Mercari, that's where the athletic stuff tends to go a little bit faster for us. Um, this is just a size small, but they're like shiny leggings. And it also has the little heel heel part, like opening yeah, where at you the bottom. Make sure it, you put your feet in it. Yes. Oh, you know, like for, I see it for like dancing. Yeah. Like yoga. Dancing where like you're doing like downward and you don't want your pants to ride up, I guess. You know, people yoga. All right. This is Trina Turk before he goes straight into his eyes. <laughs> this is Trina Turk. Um, it's a halter uh, swim cover-up. I think it's a swim cover-up. Um, when I was looking up comps for it, the material feels like the swim material. It does have this really fun tassel in the back for the halter. So this Trina Turk is an extra small. Here's the Trina Turk tag. And it has this fun back. Um, so Trina Turk, when we were in Palm Springs, they still have a brick and mortar store. I don't know if I've seen any in LA. I think there was one in Westside. Oh, maybe. Like out towards maybe. Santa Monica. Um, and that was 20 to 30. Now we're going off to 30 to 40. There we go. We got first one up. All right, we have this J Crew. This is the J Crew 120s. Um, this is the wool dress. Uh, it's sleeveless size double zero P and it does have pockets but it's a nice business dress uh, the 120s keep an eye out for it but those tend to do well and, and the comps are a little bit all over the place but we were comfortable saying you know 30s 40s and here we have wooden ships and you said this was an anthro brand uh, I don't know some people had listings for anthro I don't know if it's Strict anthro or people, you have to be careful when you're listing uh, brands for anthropology because not everything that is from that brand will be sold at anthro. And if you are doing sell similars off someone else's listing, it could be wrong. So you should do your research before you do that. All right, so this is Wooden Ships. This is the first time we found this, but it's like an open knit sweater. 
it does have a different um, knit pattern at the bottom. So this is just like a rib knit. Yeah, just in a gray. And then here we have a pair of, uh, which ones are these again? Soft surrounding, size medium. Are these just sweatpants? Cargo. Oh, cargo. There is a cargo. I like cargo. But uh, here's, let me show you guys the tag real quick here. There you go. All right, next up we have this really nice Zara jacket. It is an asymmetrical peplum jacket. I couldn't find exact comps on this, but this is an extra small. It's a really thick, nice material. Um, and because I couldn't find exact comps, I'm gonna list it at high 30s with best offer. Yeah, and then here we have a Ted Baker dress. Uh, this one is a- uh, Size a, one. Size one, it has a really cool zipper feature here on one of the sleeves. So this one actually has a like drapey thing that goes all the way into the back. Yeah. All right, here we have Saturday, Sunday. So this one is sold at Anthropology. Uh, this one, this one is a size small. Uh, it's just a cow neck three quarter sleeve dress, and it does have side slits coming down both sides. I almost left this behind. Um, Saturday, Sunday, or just Anthro pieces, depending on the brand for Anthro. They're not. They're a little. Um, they vary. No. What am I trying to say? There's a lot of them. Saturated? Saturated is the word. All right, so here's J. Jill. Um, this is a J. Jill down puffer jacket. This one is an extra large plaid. Just a really nice thick jacket. Yeah, we don't have technology so you can feel it, but it feels really nice. <laughs> Here we have two maxi dresses. First one up is all right, so here is a Maeve by Anthropology, and it actually says Anthropology on it. This one is a size large. It does have an open back here, and it is a full maxi dress. Just in time for like spring. Spring, yeah. Uh, and then here we have a, which one was this one again? So this is a Bowden. We don't typically pick up too much Bowden. I don't think we've actually picked up any Bowdoin before, uh, but this one was a sleeveless maxi dress and it has pockets, which was a selling point. We love them pockets. All right, and this one is a size... UK 18 and US 14. <laughs> so this one's a 14 long, so there's an L. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, and pockets. All right, next up, this is the first time we found this one. This is Undefeated. All right, so this Undefeated sweater, the ones that I did find, um, the ones that I found comps for were the simple um, solid colored Undefeated sweaters. Uh, but this one actually has like a pocket in the front, um, two-toned, two and then the spell out. Yeah. Uh, and then here we have a holding horses jean or denim uh, dress. Yeah, so fit and flare or skater skater dress. Um, but really nice jean dress. This one is a size six. There you go, it's holding horses. Really nice. Then we have a red, is it straw? Yep, this is a joie silk size large. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, really nice, simple. And then. All right, so Ooh. the hanger doesn't do it justice, but this is a uh, off the shoulder long sleeve dress. This is from the company Privacy Please, and we've sold one dress from them in the past, I think. Kind of recently, we sold a blue dress 
that was sleeveless. Uh, so this one, we sold this on eBay. I found comps for this on Poshmark and the Poshmark comps are just a little bit higher than eBay. And I think this is sold on Revolve. Yes. yes. Hey, here we have a Christian Dior. Uh, I'll show you guys a tag real quick here while I have it out. There All right, go. so this is a vintage Christian Dior, I think track style zip up. I think there's like one tiny little stain right here on the sleeve that I'll disclose. Uh, but yeah, and it has the Dior embroidered right here. And we've had good luck selling vintage uh, Christian Dior sweaters in the past. Yeah. Uh, here we got a purple Eileen Fisher organic cotton because she made sure that I knew that one. <laughs> so it's an organic cotton blend. Uh, long sleeve, and this one is a size extra small. Um, I know some of our friends prefer to pick up the larger sizes for Eileen. I'm not too picky about it because we've had luck selling uh, the smaller sizes too. I think it just depends on the style of the item. But yeah. yeah I like the purple. All right, so this one has some hairs that needs to get lint rolled. But this is Saks Fifth Avenue, 100% cashmere, large, mock neck, long sleeve. I think this is a men's sweater. It's pretty big. Yeah. And then here we have... These are the AG Prima Mid-Rise Cigarette Jeans. Go. Nice. Nice darker wash. Um, and then we've said this in the past too for Adriana Goldschmidt or AG jeans. Just make sure that you're looking up the style. Some of the styles don't do as well. Uh, the Prima tends to be a really good one for us. Um, along with the legging ankle. The, this is still in the Verdugo. The ankle legging. Yeah, I think it's the ankle legging. Um, and the... Is it Verdugo? Yeah, the Verdugo ankle tend to do well. And here we have uh, Eileen Fisher pants. Really nice, simple. They're just an elastic waist black pant. Size large. All right, here we have Calypso. This is 100% linen. These are a size large, just nice pants. So this one has this fun tassel on the front um, and we found it wrapped up in aluminum foil at the thrift store and it was really tightly wrapped and it took almost a minute to take off the full wrap. Yeah. We weren't sure what was in there. Because we weren't 100% sure. She had an idea that's what was wrapped up, but we weren't sure. All right, here we have Eileen Fisher. These are the silk pants and it's got pockets here elastic waist yeah the back part is elastic and this one is a size medium and then we have this cos cos dress really nice with pockets and this is a size uh four yes four but really nice business like with a little bit of color Megusta. All right, so that is our last clothing piece. Um, moving on, we do have a few hard goods. I'll share mine. Uh, so this is Donald J. Pliner. This is the sport, but these shoes here, here's the inside. It does have the little zip here, um, but the bottom of the shoes look like they hardly look, yeah. worn. Yeah. So these were, I think, the color of the day or something because the, I think the price was like half off. So we have those, and then we have these Dolce Vita sandals, which I learned this past week that the this Dolce Vita, when it's spelled out, is the high-end Dolce Vita, not the Dolce Vita that you see at Target, which is just DV. Um, and then the bottom of it is again very clean 
Yeah, and this Especially one is a you. size seven. So, nice. Uh, and then, I had some hard goods. So here, you got vintage hair rollers. Definitely not the only one that's talked about hair rollers, but um, these do well throughout the year. We've had them purchased really all the time. Um, but the thing to make sure with these, I mean, it, you could try to plug them in and see them warm up. But you want to make sure all the rollers are in when you purchase them, as well as the clips. The clips are an added bonus. They will help raise the price a little bit. But these normally sell, especially the small one, around $30 plus shipping, which is nice. This is the Clairol Super Setters. Then found... They're the style setter. Yes. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, and then we have this card game, uh, Batman... Is that just flux? Um, brand new sealed. Looked it up and it sells for about thirty to forty dollars, which is great because it's easy to ship. Uh, these card games, keep an eye out when you find them. That this is cool because Batman, but they have different types. Um, oftentimes they're they don't make a lot of them, so it's hard to get a chance to buy them again once they're sold out. And then have this. I really don't know what it is, but I just looked it up again. Look up your con. This is a Panasonic KX door phone. It's a door phone. Uh, brand new, sealed. And uh, you know what? I think I realized what this is. This is probably what you put outside your security door so that you have people page in and say, Toot! Uh, this is Hugo. Can I come in? I mean, that's what it's for. And that's how you use it. Yeah. So that is the end of our bread and butter haul. So 20 to $40, um, that was quite a bit of stuff that we found this last week. And uh, yeah, so yeah. stay tuned. Cause we have another half and we'll show it later. And that other half have some cool stuff, everything from some dead stock. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all in all, thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.